I got extremely lucky. I did not notice this earlier, but as soon as I walked out of my base, oop, there is actually, yeah, let's get out of here. One of these flowers just right here beside my base. Is this in, what is that? Let's grab it just in case. Do I see anything else right around here? I did find a lot of flowers around my base, but some of them I had to go a little, I had to travel a little bit before I could find them. But let's go ahead and get back in here, and now that we have the proper flower, now we'll be able to do this. So we have blue, orange, two yellow. There we are. Here's my day blend. So what I need to do now is build a mana pool, a diluted mana pool. Okay. Uh, do do? There it is. Just make a small one here. And this. Oop. There we are. I'll put you. I think I need. I think it needs to be close to the sun, so let's go ahead and put that there. Oh, yeah, I need to make a wand, I think. Ooh. Living wood. Uh, let's go ahead and... Okay, where was the... Hmm. Pure daisy. There we are. Wand. So I need the twigs and two petals. So let's see if I do this. Alright, let's see. Stupid. Got me to make that. There we are. So I just need the actual logs. And there we are. Accepting mana from atoms. Shouldn't that be filling that up? Here, let's. Maybe I need to be put it next to it. some more. I'm not sure how much of this stuff I'm going to need. But I'm pretty sure I better go ahead and make a bunch of it so that when I when it does come the time to use it I'll actually have it. that streak, but that's just one of my... Uh, that doesn't... Okay, is it? Alright, let's look at the lexicon. Okay.
Okay, so I need... Oh, so I need a mana spreader. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's look at how to make a mana spreader. Living wood, gold ingot, and that. I think I have some gold. Brass. Hmm. Come on, I should have a. Like, I'm almost positive I have some gold. Then again, I may not. Nope. I just use my sleeping bag. Go ahead and sleep to get through the night. Hmm. If I had gold, where would it be? I'm like almost positive I had some. Hmm. Guess not. This is one reason why I try to very quickly get. Um. Well, I try to get um, a planning logistics set up so that I don't have to run around with a bunch of different chests and everything. This is the okay, well, I guess I will be right back so that I can actually go mine some and try to find a piece of gold. It's not really what I wanted to be doing right now, but... Let's go ahead and... Oh, over here. Let's go ahead and go over here and try to quickly find some. Okay, going down these stairs like this sometimes, where it's so sh short at the top the way I made it, sometimes it makes my head hurt. What is that? Ferris, Ferris, Ferris. Okay. Alright, let's grab my hammer. this? Essence ore. Oh, that's... That should be harvestable by that. I'm not sure why it wasn't. It's iron. Alright, why are you... Alright, I'm gonna grab both of these. Now, like now, when I find anything for heart for uh, Batania, I'm pretty much grabbing it. Alright, let's try doing it this way. bedrock. Didn't realize I was that close to bedrock. There's some more diamonds. What? Okay, that's weird. Something's going on with this. This should be harvestable. With my pick. I mean, with my... Hammer. Oh, shoot.
we have finally found us some gold ore. And I'm not sure what's going on with my pick. I mean, my, not my pick, but my, uh, I need the living rock. Get rid of that. There we are. For some reason, my hammer isn't... I thought that this should be able to harvest things like that, but apparently it's can't harvest gold or essence or things like that. I mean, what I want to do is go to the nether and get some cobalt and some ardite so that I can actually make a better tool. But those are items that take quite some time to find. All right, let's go over to our let's eat some. But those are items that actually <clears throat> require some quite a bit of adventuring in the Nether because you can actually only get like one or two pieces of cobalt generally in a group. Most of the time single pieces, the same thing for Ardite. And when you make your item, it can be actually take up quite a bit because the bindings and the things like that take quite a bit. Let me actually in here. Because I, for the hammer you need two face pl face plates, which these have so eight ingots each. So it's sixteen there. So I need 16 either of magnelium or cobalt or ardite, whatever I want to make it out of. So I need 16 of those, and then you have the the hammer head, which is another eight, and then you got the tough rod, which is three. So it's pretty expensive. All right, those have almost melted. As soon as this happens, let me go ahead and get my can get cast out. Come on. There we are. Now let's go back over here and we will make us a meta spreader. Okay, let's see if I can remember how this thing was. Oh. Wrong type of wood. Is it like that? Oh yeah, there's a pedal in there. Mana spreader. Here we are. So what I need to do is... Oh, give me that back. Break this. Put it... Here. No, let's put it... I guess we should put it... There, we'll put the mana spreader. If I can remember, I think that'll work. So if I hold this, yeah, there we are. So this, yeah, there we are. So this now has doesn't have any more, um, whatever they call it, mana in it. And, and then this is accepting. Oh, yeah, I don't want to do that. There we are. Because you can actually adjust these things. And I didn't. I think I adjusted it to point to that, I hope. But now, this, when this gets more daylight, it should send it to that. I think that's what I needed to do. There's so that's okay. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Nope, it's filling the mana spreader is filling up, but this isn't. Alright, I'm 
we'll give that some more time. So, I think that's all for now. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go out in the world. I'm going to need to find some more blue. I think I need to find some more yellow. I've got this tall one. This gives me four. So let's see here. Orange, yellow, lime, pink, gray, lime. It's the blue petal. Orange. Oh, it's just going to give me a blue. All right, and this is... That's Batania, that's Batania, that's Batania. Okay. There's some salt from Pam's Harvest Craft. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's gonna drive me bonkers until I figure that out. Let's see, can I... Yeah, see, I can point it in a different direction. And I don't want to destroy it either because if I do that, uh, it will uh, lose all the mana that's in it. So it's going dark now. I'll go ahead and use my sleeping bag again. Oop. Let's see here. Made a mana spreader. And it's block A to block B. We should try click on it with the wand in the forest. Is that what I have? Yes, okay. One can orient the by click. You can be pointed to other blocks with the oh, the wand in bind mode. Function bind mode. There we are. Okay, is that working? Okay, there we are. This is now draining. Oh, so you have to right-click on it to see the things change. Okay, cool. So, like, say, I just pick these diamonds up. So, if I, I guess it doesn't have enough to make another one yet. So, what I can do here is, what I really want to do is, once there's enough men in it, you just toss this in there and you get an upgraded one. So I'm going to do that relatively soon. But now that we know what I was doing wrong, basically you gotta hold sh right you gotta hold shift down and right click and you can change the function of the wand. And once you do that, then you shift right click on that, and then shift right click on the block you want it to go to. And now you can see that's filling up. Again, that's Function flat bind mode. Okay, shift right click. Hmm, I may not be doing this right. Okay, by holding shift right click. Oh, let's try this. Hold shift right. Hold shift right click. No. <laughs> See, it's going up. Oh, if I do this, it's just going to move it around like crazy. Nope. Okay, 
So that's going to this now, I think. It looks like it is. But that's filling up. Mm -hmm. Okay. By holding shift right click on it with a wand of forest, one can orient them. Okay. Minus four has a small entire buffer. Okay, with a one of force. that's what's going on. Okay. It, it doesn't constantly send. It actually does a small amount. It, it waits till the buffer builds up a little bit. Then it shoots a big um, beam at this and fills up some. Okay, so that's set up correctly. Now that I'm done making a fool of myself, I am going to go ahead and sign off for now. We have done quite a bit. I hope you guys are enjoying everything. Because I'm, I'm kind of liking it. I've never really fooled Batana before. It's something I've never really done. Um, I'm hoping to get some more into Pan's Harvest Craft. It seems pretty cool. Also, I need to <laughs> redo a lot of my tools. Because I thought I had decent ones. I'm not sure if, I'm, uh, if everybody wants to see me going to the nether. But I'm going to go into it and try to get some... Um, resources, and then I'll show you what I make, how I put them together, and how, in what order I do, and make the tools. Because you can actually use paper on certain things, but not others, because it won't, and it won't degrade the durability. But you'll still get the benefit of, of the extra ability from the paper. But that'll be next time, and hope you guys are enjoying it. But till next time.